guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl sassy dassy and i'm coming to you real quick with a little video about something that i just learned in the news yesterday washington state i am praying for you guys last week y'all got hit with these giant murder hornets and now there's a new species that's causing a threat for you guys it is the non-native gypsy moth it's such a threat that your governor, Jay Inslee, has actually issued a emergency proclamation. In his proclamation, he says that this imminent danger of infestation seriously endangers the agriculture and horticultural industries of the state of Washington and seriously threaten the economic well-being and the quality life of state residents. Y'all, I can't deal. If it's not one thing, it's something else. I literally cannot deal. He said that the threat is posed by both Asian gypsy moss and Asian European hybrid. These things are hybrids, gypsy moss. The government says that these pests can cause major damage. Now, the large Asian gypsy moss infestations can completely defoliate trees. And this is according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services. And by the way, I'm getting all my information from CNN.com. So if you want to read more about it, please go to their website. It says this defoliation can seriously weaken trees and shrubs, making them more susceptible to disease. Repeated defoliation can lead to the death of large sections of forests, orchards and landscaping it gets worse they said that the females can lay hundreds of eggs and the eggs then become caterpillars and then they can munch through 500 500 different types of plants and tree shrubs bad it gets worse these moths can travel and fly long distances. So it's very, it's likely that once they actually do one area, they can quickly go to another area and kind of complete the whole little thing and just do it all over again. Y'all. So once they get through with one place, they are able to likely to go to another place and kind of just repeat the cycle. If that's not one thing, it's something else. And if that's not scary for you, it should be. Now with hornets, yes, we had them where they can potentially just bite us and that causes danger. And this may not be causing us harm physically, but it will definitely affect us if they do not get this stuff under control. I just can't deal. I just can't deal. I really can't. But I did want to do this video because I know a lot of people probably don't know about what's going on with it. But I did just want to do this video. And I hope you guys are able to get a little bit more information about this. And I'm pretty sure once things develop with it, we will be able to get more information as time go on. But like I just say, just stay safe. Keep your ear to the news and hopefully as stuff develops, we can get more information than just what's out right now. But if you haven't already did so, you guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every single week about things that's happened in my life, things that I have got, and the news. Things that I see that's in the news that I see firsthand, but after I do a little research, I do want to provide a video for you guys, but I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I hope you guys have an awesome Mother's Day tomorrow and an awesome next week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!